Hey, Psych2Goers. Have you ever been told that you're shy, but deep inside, you know you're not? Maybe you're a bit quiet at times and you just don't care for small talk. Or maybe you find it hard to connect with some people, but that doesn't mean you're afraid of socializing. Well, instead of being shy, you may just be an introvert all along. Here are six signs you're actually an introvert and not shy. Number one, you have a hard time finding people you connect with. Do you find it difficult connecting with new people? Maybe there aren't a lot of people you're interested in getting to know, so you're unsure of what to talk about. Introverts can take some time to get comfortable around someone new, while extroverts get their energy by meeting new people and socializing. Introverts don't energize this way. They may often need to have some time alone to recharge. Often with introverts, if they're not intrigued by someone or interested, they won't invest too much energy in them. It's only when they gradually get to know them and feel a connection that they really want to spend more time socializing. Number two, when you do connect with someone, you're pretty social with them. So what happens when you do connect with someone? Despite others calling you shy, you still love socializing, as long as it's with your close friends. If you've formed a connection with a friend, you may find yourself inviting them over to hang out versus going out to an overcrowded party. But you definitely don't need to despise socializing you just prefer some alone time and those calm moments with a few of your close friends. Number three, people describe your conversations as intense. So you're at a get together when you decide to bring up the existential questions you've been pondering all week, or well, maybe just a deeper topic than others are used to discussing casually. But everyone kind of just stares at you, a bit uncomfortable. Some may join along with the interesting topic, while others describe your conversations as intense. As an introvert, you're quite the philosopher at times. You take pleasure in deep conversations or discussing an intriguing book you've just read. You also don't mind a fun debate every now and then. So long as it's not small talk, you're good. Number four, your energy feels drained when around crowds too long. How do you gain energy? Do you go out of the house to meet new people or do you stay home with a good book and a cup of joe to recharge? Introverts often enjoy spending time alone rather than socializing. They still like to be social, but often find themselves choosing to stay in rather than go out. After a day at work or after a crowded event, they may feel drained. Crowded rooms and noisy places may just take up all of their energy. So an afternoon alone will give them some time to recharge for the rest of their day. Number five, you are not a fan of small talk. So we've mentioned that introverts love interesting conversations that are often philosophical or emotional, but did we mention their distaste for small talk? They don't need to have a hatred for it, but they certainly don't enjoy starting it. If you find it difficult to engage in small talk or are unsure of what to say when initializing this type of conversation, then you may just be an introvert. Small talk to you may just seem fake or forced, so you prefer to do without it. You're not quiet because you're shy, you're just saving your energy for more interesting conversations. And number six, your mind's always running an inner monologue and you're often distracted. Do you get distracted easily? Is your mind always racing with an inner monologue? Or maybe you drift off into your imagination. When out in public, the noise and chaos of certain venues may be distracting for some introverts. Since they're not always a fan of starting up a conversation with someone they don't feel a connection with, they may just entertain themselves with their thoughts. This may be one of the reasons you're often described as the quiet one. You're simply thinking all the time and are busy with your thoughts. Sometimes they're entertaining, sometimes you're running scenarios. It may also be a bit distracting too if you're in class, but hey, if you're in line for sushi during lunch and have nothing else to do, knock yourself out. Ah, imagination. So, are you an introvert or do you think you're shy? Do you relate to any of these points? or are you an extrovert who's here for the entertainment? Feel free to share with us in the comments down below. We'd love to hear from our fans. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.